Hey guys, Glenn Murray, Glenn Murray Online. Wow, I'm loud today. <laughs> I'll try to be a little cooler. Uh, just got a crazy morning. Um, so I wanted to do this a couple hours ago, but it's just things are going crazy and it's good, good crazy, but it's, it's funny how just momentum starts. Um, so this is 13 Facebook updates you need to know for business in 2019. This is super important because I've noticed like a crazy amount of changes in Facebook. Like things aren't just, they're just not working like they used to, you know. My mini chat bot is not firing. I'm trying to fix that. And they're saying, oh, you can't do a subscription. There's, there's, there's tons of changes. So I'm going to go through these 13 um, ones that I learned from Leah, from Todd and Leah. Great guys. I, I follow a lot of their stuff and they've taught me a ton. And, and I, I really admire them and, and thank them. So I'm just going to give you my take on, on what, what they basically taught me. Um, so, the, oh, uh, by the way, if you liked uh, videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and you'll get videos like this from me. And uh, go back through my other videos, guys. There's tons of great stuff there. And if you want to reach out and make some money with me, then uh, you want to make sure that you join the, the number one uh, program that I'm going to put down below. I actually put three programs down there. Uh, the, 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 there's, there's, uh, they're all different, and I, I belong to all three of them. But uh, the first one is the number one top earning uh, money maker, if, if that's what you're looking for. Okay, number one, groups are where it's at. So if you don't have a Facebook group yet and you're trying to uh, build one, you need to build one. So I have a couple of Facebook groups. You can go join them. Um, How to Earn Residual Income is one of my groups on Facebook. Um, social Social Media Marketing uh, Boot Camp. I have a boot camp uh, a Facebook page. I also have, or group, I also have a buy and sell group, which is very great. It's my local thing. And I actually just got a new, uh, a new downline member in all my programs. Uh, from my buy and sell just this morning. And that's why I'm kind of excited. I was like, he's like, oh, this is what I want to be doing. Great. And it was from a buy and sell, right? So if you're the admin on the buy and sell, you have a lot of control what, what people can put in there, but also what you can put in there and you can utilize that and you can also reach out to people when they want to join. So I make sure that I, I message each person that wants to join. I don't message from my computer. I make sure I message from my phone because the messenger is different on your phone than in the computer. Okay, so number one, make sure you're building a group, building community. Facebook is focusing on community. Number two, meaningful interactions. They're really looking for meaning, meaningful interactions. So you need to understand that it's not just about liking and you know a bunch of people uh, just liking your post. It's actually starting to create engagement, create meaningful engagement that, that makes people you know uh, makes makes the community come together. So number three, not all reactions will help you now. Now this is crazy. I was just talking to my wife about this this morning. So sad and angry apparently will now suppress your post. Um, which is crazy because what if you're what if you're sharing something that's really sad and endearing to you, and you want to get it out to people, but it's not going to show to all your friends because it's sad. I mean, that's that's kind of weird. What if you lost lost someone dear to you? But anyway, so this is what they've decided. So they want so no matter what, hit a wow, um, wow, haha, love, whatever. That's what they want. Likes are no longer counted. Okay, um, number four. This was really huge, and I actually bought into a program for a little while that that would help you run online contests. And I realized now it's, it's kind of useless. So contests, downloads, and giveaways are now getting suppressed as well in your feed. So if you're putting something like, hey, download this, or, or you know, I'm, I'm going to give away this or whatever, they're going to actually start be, because they don't, they don't think that that is meaningful engagement. Who, who knows? This is, this is just Facebook rules, guys. I'm just letting you know what they're changing on. Okay, so number five, Facebook no longer cares about just likes. And that's what I was talking about earlier. Likes don't do anything anymore. It's kind of like a useless thing. So you need to wow, you need to haha, you need to um, love, or you need to comment. And I recommend always commenting because you can, you can create an engagement with other people on someone else's post. I don't say go, go, do not ever spam your links on someone else's post, but if you can create an, uh, an intriguing uh, message or a conversation or a question, then people can respond to that and you can actually start creating some relationships there on someone's feed without, and then don't say, oh yeah, send me a private message. Just, just talk about the topic. If that person is interested in learning more from you, then they will send you a friend request or they'll send you a message. Don't, don't, don't instigate it. Okay. That's just not, that's not good. That's not cool marketing. Number six, gifts will give you the highest reach. And I don't mean a giveaway. A gift is, is a little animated image. So it, it's, it's usually 10 to 
to 200 frames and it'll be a little animated images. They're loving that. It's actually getting more engagement than, than Facebook Lives, which apparently are going away. So, um, GIFs. So if you don't know what a GIF is, it, it's G-I-F, right? GIF. So, um, or some, some people call them GIFs. I've never, I've been in uh, the design industry for many, many, many years. I've never heard them called GIFs. It's always GIFs. But I know, I actually know one guy I know who's called it a GIF. Um, number seven, do not tell people how to react to your post. Like, don't say, love my post or comment below or, or vote below or, you know, this will all totally suppress your algorithm and, and they're getting smarter and smarter. So they're able to do this very, very well. So you don't want to be doing that. Um, and it will be flight. So number eight, um, sales or directly promotional posts should be less than 20%. So if, if you're doing a sales post or, or a promotion or, or a, a, a directly promotional post, it should be less than 20%. So what you want to be doing is putting up, um, you know, sharing videos on how to do stuff is always great. Hey, do you want to know <clears throat> the 13 changes to Facebook? Check out my blog or check out my, my, my uh, video. Right. Or, um, you know, what, what, what just sharing information, sharing knowledge. And then within that, um, 20% can be more promotional. It's like, Hey, you want to know, you want to download why well, you don't want to say download anymore. You want to get my, uh, ebook on something, you know, that, that kind of thing. But generally guys, I, I, I tend to just, I want to get people off of Facebook and people want to keep people on Facebook. So I'm probably hurting myself by trying to get them off Facebook, but that's where the money is. The money is on the internet, not on Facebook. I mean, yes, you can do a lot with Facebook, but it's not predictable because they can change it tomorrow and you're hooped. All right. So make sure you've got your diversified very well. Um, Number nine, the word takeover is now being repressed. So shared content. So say you have another person that you guys like kind of take over each other's timelines and you do like, hey, I'm going to do a takeover of Glenn's timeline. And they, they promote um, to my people and then I get to do the same to them. That's totally, they're, they're saying no more to that. So if you try to do that, it's just going to repress and you're not going to get very much uh, uh, reach out of it. Uh, number 10, Harder to run ads with small business. You need to be creative. So just timeline um, our newsfeed ads are going to be really, really tough because it's just getting more and more competitive. So as a small business owner, especially if you're just a little guy and you have a limited budget, you're not going to get very much reach. So you need to be more creative. There's lots of different ways to advertise on Facebook. I don't think you should be advertising on Facebook until you really know what you're doing, until you've, you're making like five to 10 grand a month online. I don't think, I don't recommend uh, advertising on, on Facebook because you're just, you're going to throw your money away. There's better ways to build up your brand first so that, that, that you've got this brand and then start, you know, then you want to start doing your Facebook ads. And I'd probably hire someone to do it that really knows what they're doing. Unless you, um, unless you have really good training for it and you know it. All right. Uh, number 11, going live is no longer a favorite. You know, so if you were about to jump on the going live thing, well, apparently it's not good, especially doing alive on your timeline uh, to anything to do with your business. They're really cracking down. They want everything on your pages and that's going to lead into the um, number 13. It's going to, oops, I can't keep doing that. Uh, okay, so so it's harder so harder to, uh, oh, going live, right? So instead of doing a live, do a live on, of course still do lives, but but I mean, just don't think of it as that's going to be your end all thing. Do a live, do it on your Facebook page, um, but use GIFs, right? Use, get, start figuring out animated GIFs. There's ways to put it on, on your phone. You can just add a GIF. I think they can, you can do it on the computer as well. I, I do so much of my Facebook on my phone because I have all my shortcuts so I can text I have a whole bunch of tech snippets that I can just add. So I do a lot of my messaging on my, my phone when I'm on Facebook. Uh, 13, is that what we're on? Links, and, uh, no, 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 number 12. So links in your post will can, can, can suppress it and it can trigger something called click gap signal. So click gap signal. Um, so they're monitoring. So they're going to go look at your, uh, your uh, wherever you're getting people to click to, like your blog or whatever. Now, if you're getting more clicks from Facebook, apparently they can figure out that figure that out and say, "Oh, look at all that traffic is coming from Facebook. They must be using clickbait." So let's not show that because it's clickbait because it's making people click to go off. 
again, they just, uh, they, they, they're figuring out all the kind of the tricks that the marketers do. Well, they, they say marketers ruin every, everything and, you know, marketers try to exploit all the loopholes and try to get their advertising for as little as possible. It's a game, right? Like you want to get as much reach out there of what you're trying to promote for the least amount of money. That's the reality. And Facebook wants to make money. So they're, they're going to go, aha, they're doing that. Well, we're going to suppress that. Oh, they're doing that. We're going to suppress that. So it's just going to continue to be a game. This is why, again, I recommend not doing everything on Facebook. All right. Are you listening? Don't do it all on Facebook. Uh, number 13. Now, this is interesting because I did this. I, I, I did this a lot. And apparently, it's really bad. So shares from your business page to your timeline are, are not... Um, are, are actually against Facebook rules because you're then advertising business on your personal timeline. So you can't do that. So if, if other people, though, share it to your timeline, to their timeline, that's fine. But if you're doing it, if you're the admin of your page and then you share it to your personal page, um, that, then they're going to say, no, you can't do that. So basically, that's that's the 13 guys. And, and you know, I really say, and I say this over and over, diversify your efforts and don't rely on Facebook. It can change. Guys, there's so many ways to market online. So many ways. And you don't have to rely on Facebook. And because, you know, and again, you should be doing multiple programs and not relying on, on, on Facebook. So think about it. If you're in an MLM, you're in one business, right? And you've got, you've, you've got your one business and you do all your promotion on Facebook, right? And Facebook says, no, you know what? We don't think you can promote that anymore. We don't want you promoting it anymore. In fact, we're going to kill that that link so that you can't even put a link on Facebook. Boom, right? Now what are you going to do? You have one business. And let's say your business goes, hey, by the way, we're going to change our comp plan. And then you're like, uh, I don't like that anymore. Now your business is gone, right? So what you want to do is you want to have multiple streams of income. And what are those multiple streams of income? There are tools that you use to do your marketing online because almost everything has an affiliate program today, guys. Like this is what you need to realize. It's multiple streams. And I did this in my last video. You need to have multiple streams of income and you need to have sort of a, 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 a single funnel that funnels them through. But they can enter the funnel by different ways. It's almost like you have little funnels going into this big funnel. And that's how I look at it. So if you can imagine that, like, you know, um, hey, do you want to learn how to get more Facebook uh, friends on Facebook? Right? That's what I would lead with. And now they go into this, you know, drip campaign of, of an email campaign. Um, if they buy, well, first it's a free training, so they get value. If they if they want to do a try that program that that's from, I get a commission, and then I can put them into my email campaign, which they're going to get dripped on. But I can also broadcast to them and say, hey guys, you know, I know that you're you're checking out this, but you should check out this, which is part of the main funnel. Or you know, someone that looks like an internet marketer that's, that's that's that has a lot of stuff going on. It's like, hey, hey, I have a really great money making funnel. It looks like you probably have most of the tools in it anyways. Why don't you check it out? So then I get them into my email list that way. Maybe they, maybe I'm not going to make any commission on one or two of the tools from them. Or maybe they're using different tools and they want to use those tools and I will make money on, on them, right? So there's different, there's just different ways to get everyone into your main funnel. But your main funnel is your email list or email, your email list or lists, right? Maybe you have a couple different email lists that you're using. All right, that's that's all I got for you guys today. Remember, subscribe. I hope this is helpful. And remember, if you want my number one income earning um, online business, click the link below. That is it. You will you you can you will learn everything you need to do. And if you just basically are consistent and you get out there and you promote and you you want to make sure that you're doing your blog and you want to make sure that you're doing your YouTube. And guys, if you don't want to do these things, maybe. Making money online is not for you. Maybe that's not your thing because this is what it takes. It's kind of like, I want to be a cab driver, but I don't want to have a car. I don't want to have a driver's license. I don't want to give people rides. It's like, well, what are you doing then? Online marketing is about marketing. Create a valuable blog, right? Give people information. 
And maybe you're not in the make money online. Maybe you're maybe you're in the, the cooking niche or, or the healthy food. Like my wife and I are, are also in the healthy food niche, right? So we have another blog. It's set up and I'm I'm pumping content into that thing, right? Because I want to bring value to people that are looking for that specific thing, right? Like it's 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 healthy, gluten-free stuff. So I'm I'm promote I'm I'm building up that business through blog and our YouTube, right? Yes, are we doing some stuff on Facebook? Absolutely, we're doing some face stuff on Facebook, but that's not our that's not our, our main um, strategy. Our main strategy is is our is our YouTube and our blog, and the Facebook and our Twitter and our Instagram will just be, get people over to this because we own that. Well, we you don't own YouTube technically, but I mean it's it YouTube has come a pretty long way since I know they've they've shut down people's uh, accounts in the past, but if you're if you play the game right, that they, they they're a lot more lenient. Than, than um, Facebook is definitely. Um, so, but your blog is what you own. You own your blog, right? So even if YouTube took your stuff away, you could take your videos because I hope you're recording your videos to your computer and not just live. I, I have a Facebook, uh, I, I, I have a, a video on how to uh, download your Facebook lives if you want to, so you can go back and, and download them and keep them. Um, but your blog is yours. Your blog is yours. And, and say you lose your, your YouTube account, put your videos on 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 vimeo or put them on 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 wisty or whatever and then put them onto your blog right there's always a way around it but you want to make sure your blog is your your number one well your email list is your number one asset your blog is probably your second most thing all right guys i hope that helps you i gotta go cheers have a great day and uh your success is my success cheers